Hello third graders. I am going to show you how to use some tools to help you type a letter in Google Docs. The first thing you may notice when you come on a Google Doc is that there's a lot of different tools that you can use and we'll learn how to use these as third graders. But today the tool that I want you to really concentrate on is font size. The font are the letters that you type and you can change the size of them to make it easier for you to read. When I click on the down arrow, I can see there's a lot of different sizes. Each of these numbers mean there's a different size font or different size letter that will print on my page. I don't want it to be too small. I don't want it to be too big. I want the letter size to be just right. So I will choose either 11, 12, 14, or 18. Those are your choices too. 11, 12, 14, or 18. I'm going to choose 14. So that means my font will be size 14. Now you can see the blinking cursor, which tells me where my letters will show up when I begin typing. And I'm going to start by typing my greeting. Dear Mrs. Glassmeyer. I hope you noticed that as I was typing, I was remembering to hold down my shift key in order to make capital letters, especially for names. I am also going to press my enter key to move my cursor down to begin my letter. And again, I'm going to hold down my shift key to start my new sentence. My family has four people in it. And then I'm going to find my period and I'm going to press that key and then I press the space bar after the period because remember we put a space after a sentence is over and then I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to start typing my next sentence. I want you to notice now that I'm getting towards the end of my line, but I do not need to press enter. I'm just going to keep typing and watch what happens. My sentence just automatically goes to the next line without me having to press the enter key. When I am done with my paragraph, I will press the enter key so I can start a new paragraph. Now I want to show you another tool that you will use to help you type. This tool is called Read Write, and you installed this, so you're going to find it up here, and it's the little puzzle piece, little purple puzzle piece, and when I click on it, I get some new tools popping up. The first tool I want to show you is the Play tool. So when I click on Play, I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of a sentence. Look what happens. My family has four people in it. So I can get the computer to read back to me what I have written by putting my cursor here or at the beginning of another sentence and pressing play. Their names are Bill, Nathan, Casey, and me, Jenny. So the other tool I want to show you is called Word Predict. I'm going to start my sentence again. I want to write the word mountains but I'm not sure I know how to spell it. So I'm going to come up to Word Predict and I'm going to click on Word Predict. And notice I've started to get a list M of Man. different words that start with M. So I can run my Man. cursor across it. Most music. And none of those are mountain. So now my job is to sound out mountain. Mountain. And now, as I've sounded out mountains, I know that's not spelled correctly, but as I look at the list here, mountains, it is spelled correctly here for me, and I'm going to click on it and it's going to replace it, and now I have the correct spelling. Now I'm going to turn off word prediction because I don't need it right now. I'm gonna put a curse, I'm gonna put a period here, I'm gonna put a space, and now I'm not sure I know how to spell ocean. So I can click on word prediction, 
and I'm going to start sounding it out. Ocean. That still didn't help me. Let me try spelling it again. Oh, I think maybe I could do sh Oh, when I tried a different letter, I found ocean. ocean. And. And I'm going to put a period ocean. there. And I'm going to shut off word prediction. So when you are typing your letter today, you can practice using the play button and you can practice using word prediction.